Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this particular tutorial, I'm gonna use Asset Forge to create a robot. Then I'm going to take it into Mixamo to download animations for the robot. Then I'm gonna drop those into Unity, and I'm gonna use Playmaker, both swipe gestures and key downs for doing punch and jump and controlling the animations. If you're ready to get started, let's go. Okay, so here I'm in Asset Forge, and we're gonna go ahead and start building our robot. So let's get started. Uh, what, what do I start with? Let's go ahead and start with a, a pelvis. So we kind of need a pelvis to start from. That's going to be our base. And I'm going to go ahead and add some kind of a chest piece. Move that forward slightly. Okay. Okay, so here's our robot. Now I need to go ahead and export. So let's go ahead and export. So I'm gonna export my model and I'm going to save it for as a preset of Unity. And it's gonna be an FBX. I'm gonna go ahead and merge all the blocks together and then export. I'm gonna call it robot. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go over to Mixamo. So now I'm in Mixamo and I need to go ahead and upload my model. So I'm gonna upload my character. And all I need to do is just drag it into Mixamo. It's gonna take just a second and boom, now I have the model. It looks like it's, it's right. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Then I need to go ahead and place all of these different elements. So the chin, I'm gonna stick it right where the chin's gonna be. The wrists, right where the wrists need to be. The elbows, the knees. and the groin. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose no fingers because my character has no fingers and click next. Boom, now it has a, shows me an example of my character and we're good. So let's go ahead and click next. And here's my character. Now I can go ahead and choose anything that I want. Let's go ahead and choose this idle fighting stance as the animation and there we go. So now you can see here is my character that I've created in Asset Forge and now I've uploaded my character to Mixamo. Let's go ahead and download some animations so we can bring it into Unity. I'm gonna go ahead and download this fighting idle stance and download. I wanna make sure that my, my format is FBX for Unity. I'm gonna go ahead and choose with skin for the idle animation and then go ahead and click download. Then I can go ahead and download a few other animations. So let's go ahead and download an animation for kick Go ahead and do this MMA kick. Yeah, I dig of that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and download. And I'm gonna choose without skin because I have skin in the idle animation. I don't need to download the skin for the, the kick animation. So let's go ahead and click download. Then I'm gonna go ahead and find one for punch. Yeah, I like that one. So let's go ahead and download that. Again, same thing without skin. So I'm gonna grab all those animations and bring those into Unity. So I have a folder for my models. And I'm gonna go ahead and just create a new folder in here real quick for robot. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just bring those animations in. So let's bring those over. Okay, so I have my animations. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring over my idle animation into my scene just so we can see it. And let's go ahead and hit play and see what happens. And nothing happens. That is because I don't have an animator set up. So I have the character, but I don't have an animator component. So I need to go ahead and set up an animator that will then the model can use for the animations. 
So I'm going to go ahead and add a component. So I'm going to add an animator, right? So this is an animator. And I need to go ahead and actually create an animator. So inside of the project folder, you can see that here are the animations that are in that I downloaded. And each of the animations is the little triangular with the motion icon. So I'm going to go ahead and just select those and I'm going to duplicate because I have to get them out of these prepackaged game objects, then be able to use those in my animator. So I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate. So here they are inside of my folder, my robot folder. Let's go ahead and close these real quick. So I also want to create an animator controller. I'm going to right click or control click on my robot uh, folder and I'm going to go ahead and create and let's see animator controller. I'm going to go ahead and create that. I want to call this robot cool. Okay, so here we need to go ahead and start bringing in our animations into our controller. Now I'm only going to go ahead and in this demo just do the punch, kick, and idle. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with those three. So I'm going to bring over my idle and that's going to be my default state. And then I'm also going to also add the punch and kick. Okay, so here's my punch, here's my kick. Now let's go ahead and connect these. All right, so what I'm going to do is to right click or control click and make a transition. So I'm going to make a transition from each of these to the others. So I did that real quick. Now I need to go ahead and set up some trigger events, right? So if I'm, if I swipe up or swipe down, uh, I want to be able to punch or kick. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I need to set up those parameters that will then be the triggers. Okay. So in parameters here in my animator controller, I'm going to go ahead and click plus and I'm going to add a trigger. So I've got four different options here, float, int, bool, and trigger. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and hit a trigger. And so we're going to call the first one punch. And then we're going to add another one. And this one's going to be called kick. So I have those two triggers. And so from idle, the little arrow that's going towards punch, I want to go ahead and select that. I also want to select has uh, exit time. I want to uncheck that because if I'm in the middle of the idle animation, and I hit the punch key, I don't want to have to wait till the end of that animation to go into the punch. I want to immediately go into the punch animation. So I want to have zero exit time, okay? The next thing I need to do is to set up the trigger. So here we go in our conditions. So if I punch, then I want to go into the punch animation. Same thing with the kick. I want to go ahead and have no exit time. And then I'm going to set up the condition as being kick, so the trigger. I'm not going to worry about any of the, the animations going back to idle because once it's done with the punch, it's automatically going to go back. But I do also want to set up the transitions in between punch and kick because if I hit the punch key and I'm in the middle of that animation, I hit the kick key, I want to immediately then transition into the kick. So I do want to have transitions for these as well. So if from punch to kick, I want to do a kick trigger. So if I'm in punch and I hit the kick key, I want to go down to kick. And the same thing going back up, zero exit time. And I want to set up um, punch. So from kick to punch, it's punch. From punch to kick, it's kick. Okay? And both have no exit time. Cool, so that is all set up. Okay, so now that we have our animator all set up, we need to go back to our character. In the animator component, we need to go ahead and drag that animator controller that we created. So our, we have that as robot fight. I'm gonna drag that right into my controller. That's the controller we're gonna use. So let's go ahead and just give this a test real quick. Now the punch and kick will not work just yet because we're not calling those triggers, but the idle animation should work. And there we go, we now see that our character is animated and it's idle, ready to fight, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into Playmaker and add an FSM to con control punching and kicking. So let's go and create a new empty game object, game manager. And then I like to do this inside of a game manager because that's where all the Playmaker FSMs will be. And then that way it's easier to find and edit uh, Playmaker FSMs. So I'm going to go ahead and create an empty game object for player. And then inside of that, I'm going to go ahead and create an FSM. So here we're going to create an FSM 
for our player. And I'm going to call this initial state as idle. And we'll also label this playmaker FSM. So we'll have this be character movement. And then now we can go ahead and start setting up what we want to do. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is if this is a mobile game, I want there to be swipe gestures. Okay. So if I swipe up, it's going to throw a punch. If I'm going to swipe down, it's going to kick. So let's go ahead and set those up real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and type in swipe gesture event. And so I'm going to double click and add that. So if we swipe up, that's when we're going to punch. So I want to create a new event and I'm going to call this punch. And I need to add that. And then I'm also going to do a swipe down event. So create a new event. We'll call this kick. Okay. And then add those transitions. All right. Now we need to go ahead and create new states off of these that are going to do something with the animation. All right. So we'll call this first one punch. Call the second one kick. And what is it we want to do? Well, we have that animator controller and we set up a trigger in each of those so that if we're in kick, we want to be able to call that kick animation. And if we want to do a punch, we have a punch trigger. Okay. So what we want to do is trigger those. We want to check those on to then trigger those animations. Okay. So what we're going to do is we type in trigger. And you can see that we have set animator trigger right here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that in my punch. And we need to choose what game object. And we're going to specify our robot as the character that we want to animate. Now, if I have this right, then if we click the little three dot icon, you can see that there's the two triggers that we set up, punch and kick. So if we punch, we want to go ahead and punch. And then I'm going to go ahead and just set up a finished transition to go back to idle. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and go over to kick. I'm going to paste it down in. And instead of punch, of course, we want to do kick. So, and then we also want to do a transition of, oops. We also want to do a transition of finished to go back to idle. Now I don't have my phone connected right, right now. So I'm also going to use key down events here. So I've set up swipe gestures. So that'll work for if, if I have this on my phone. But in this case, I'm just on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do key down events. So get key down. So I'm going to listen for an event of the up key. That's going to simulate my uh, swipe up. And we will also want to go to punch on that. And then I'm also going to do swipe down which is going to be the down arrow and it's going to go to kick. Okay. So we have this all set up and then this actually should just work. So let's go ahead and hit play. And if I hit my up arrow key and, or swipe up, boom, we go into punch. If I kick, if I hit my key down or swipe down, boom, there we go. We go back and we do the kick and then we go right back to idle. Oh, and I see my idle animation has stopped. Now, here's one thing that we need to do is the idle animation. If we select the idle animation, go over to our inspector, you can see it has the option of loop time. So if this is unchecked, that means it's going to play that animation once and then stop. We want this to continually play. So we're going to check that on. Now we don't want our kick or the punch to, to loop. We want those to play once and be done. So, but our idle animation, we want to loop. So let's go ahead and give this a try again real quick. So here we go. We have our animation as playing and I hit the punch and I can kick in the middle of if I'm punching and it immediately goes into that. So there you go. I know this is a lot of tools to use, but this is a great tutorial on seeing how you can use different types of tools to create your game. Don't forget to share. If you don't mind, hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.